Hello, welcome to Chip Off the Old Block Toys. I'm Jeff here, and today we're going to do the review of Optimus Prime. That's set number 10302. He just came out about a month ago. I did two live streams about an hour long building them, so if you haven't seen it, please go back and see it. But today is the review, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So our reviews always are based off four things. Value, creativity, playability, and ease of build. So let's start off with value. I think that's a solid 10 in this case. You know, this is the first time that LEGO's ever done Transformer. I think they did it very well. And it's priced at $169.99. And it comes with 1,508 pieces and no minifigures. That comes out to 11 point three cents per piece which is pretty good in today's world uh, a lot of lego sets are between uh, 12 and 13 some even higher so uh, 11 cents is great as far as creativity i gotta give it a 10. this looks like optimus prime i mean the head look at this just awesome detail his gun well if you look at his gun it looks just like it did in the cartoon, in my opinion. So it looks great. Um, they also gave him a jet pack, which is removable. So I think that is really cool here. They also gave him his Energon Axe, which I think is really cool. And awesome cube of Energon. Couldn't have done it any better with Lego. And I can't forget they also gave him, just like the cartoon, they gave him the Matrix. So creativity is absolutely a 10. I cannot give it any lower. It's just really awesome. And also he transforms. And I will do that the, near the end of the video. Playability. Well, I wish I could give it more than a 7. But playability is at a 7 for me. And that's because, well, Optimus Prime is the only one. So you really can't do much with them except transform as the truck and when you do he actually hits the bottom right here in many cases so um not that great and also i kind of wish lego would have come out with the triton that's his uh, semi trailer that folds out into a miniature base i wish they would have done that um and sold it separately or maybe they could have given us ten dollars off by by you could buy it separately or buy them together in a package but they didn't do that, so I'm only going to give it a 7 for playability. Ease of build was an 8. This wasn't extremely hard to build, but it was a couple of times I made a couple of mistakes. because The instructions aren't too clear. So like these fuel tanks, for instance. But it wasn't too bad of a build, so um, I'm going to give it 8 on ease of build. And now let's go ahead and transform him. Uh, he does want to come apart, I've noticed, when you do it. But that's just Lego, uh, the product Lego itself. Uh, you got to twist him around, and once you do that, now I always have trouble with his hands, and I have actually opted to take off his hands. And if you ever had the toy, that's what you had to do too. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, well, it doesn't want to cooperate with me. So let's go ahead and, you know, when I was rehearsing this, I transformed him with no problems. But now that I want the camera to be on, there we go. My goodness. Like I said, I didn't do that when I was rehearsing. Let's go ahead and pull the other hand off. There we go. Oh, I forgot to do his head first. And I do see why they chose Optimus Prime, and that's because he, out of all the Transformers, he'd probably be the easiest one. Oh boy, see? That didn't happen when I rehearsed it either. And that has to be this way. Thank you. 
Okay, so he's not going to transform. Sorry about that. So 12 hours later, here we have it. Just kidding. It took about 10 minutes uh, because he fell apart. I had to put him back together. I had to look at the instructions. Anyway, this is him transformed into truck mode. I do not hold the fact that he falls apart so easily um, against this set because we are dealing with Legos and Legos just have a tendency to fall apart. I mean, my move here, I can't tell you how many sets fell apart no matter how well I packed them, they just do. So nothing to hold against the set, it's just the nature of Legos themselves. So we have him transformed as a truck here. And also when you transform as a truck, uh, this piece comes off and uh, this, I'm sorry, this piece comes off and you put this piece on to make it more look like a truck. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, give it a like, would you? Subscribe if you haven't already. Also turn on all notifications. That way you'll know when I put out a video or do a live stream. And also leave me a comment below. Love to hear from you. A couple different ways to support the channel. That is go back and watch some of these videos if you got some time. I've got videos as short as a few minutes on up to an hour, a little over an hour. Anyway, head over there and watch some uh, videos. Also, another way you can uh, support the channel is by heading over to PayPal. There's a link to make a donation. Also, you can head over to BrickLink. My store is called The Chip Off the Old Block, and we have about 800,000 pieces, and we ship within 24 business hours in most cases. So if you need some pieces fast for your mods and mocks, head over there and go ahead and do that. All right, guys, be good to each other. Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you on the next video.